Hello, my name is Joe, where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. If this is the first time to the channel, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, it helps me out a ton, and don't forget to leave a comment below and ask me any questions you have about any of the stuff I'm doing today. But with that said, today I have a really interesting uh, little video for you. If you're someone that is trying to keep the cost down in making espresso, you don't have you know thousand dollars to spend on a Gaggia Classic Pro and a whole setup for that, this is a really, really cool option. So this is the Flare. This is the Flare Signature 2. It costs about 200 bucks. And then we have the uh, Amazon Commercial. This is just a, a, an old fashioned kettle. And then we have the Enzu Grinder. This isn't the best grinder in the world, but it does get the job done. And as always, all of the links to these are in the description below. And if you want to uh, buy them or you have any questions about other uh, options for this, just go ahead and leave me a comment and I will send you something that will work for you. All right, let's get into the review. Okay, so I've just uh, boiled the water. I'm going to pop on this little doohickey here, which kind of makes it so the water doesn't come out. I have noticed that this has like some back pressure, so you really gotta make sure you push real hard and then even keep pushing while you put this hot water in. You know, be careful though, this is piping hot water. Okay, so that's good there. Hopefully it doesn't leak too much. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's good. All right, so I'm going to use this. Now, I, I'm not gonna pull a scale out because that's too much. I think, you know, I didn't. I wanted to keep the cost down as much as possible. Um, so I'm just gonna do it by hand here. Now, this is decaf coffee, so bear with me, it's late at night. So I don't, uh, I will it kind of expect it to have less crema and also it's a little less forgiving than uh, normal coffee. So, you know, bear with me with a shot, but here's how much I'm putting. It's about, I don't know, probably two thirds of the way up on this. And then I'm on this Enzu grinder, which maybe is the, the most interesting thing. This is a little $40 grinder. Um, I am just gonna have it on the finest setting there. And then I'm just gonna pop this right. So I don't know if you could see that, but there's a little black part here. If you just take this and put it right underneath, you don't have to worry about, you know, dosing from here to there, which is kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna turn that on. Okay, so as you can see, it's not too terribly clumpy or anything like that. Um, we're just gonna pop this off. So let me uh, dump this out. So I just dumped out all the water. Uh, again, be careful when you're taking all the water out. It's really hot water. You, you know, you, you don't wanna burn yourself. All right, so pretty easy here. I'm gonna take my dosing funnel, put it right on top. I'm gonna take this and this kinda scoop it, let it kinda do its thing. Just make sure it gets nice and powdery. That way you don't have to go too crazy getting it all in. Okay, so now that it's right at the top there, I'm just gonna kind of shake it around, tap it. Now there's a little bit left in here, but because I was already to the top, I don't wanna fill it any more than that. You really, you know, once you're at the top, I would say that's your cue to kind of let it settle. Um, don't go much above that. So now I'm gonna take the tamper, which is very cute. It's the most precious camper tamper you're ever gonna see. Take it. Now, I don't recommend doing the full 30 pounds of pressure. I would just go kind of, I don't know, probably like 15. Give it a, give it a couple uh, turns there. Let's see, is that pretty? That's pretty even. Okay, so this is pretty hot, very hot to the touch. I'm gonna put this, you have to take, make sure you put the shower screen on. Don't put it on this way, put it on this way. Um, and then we are gonna put, put this back on. Goes right on there. And then make sure your water is nice and hot. You can go above 
what you normally would do with um, hot water. So if you're at like boiling temp, like 210, that's probably okay, because again, the, the heat's gonna get sapped out of this thing pretty easily. So let's uh, go ahead and start dumping. This water's at 205. Again, a little, a little hotter than your normal espresso shot, but because it takes a little while and uh, you have to pour. So go ahead and pour right to like that lip there at the bottom. Then go ahead and put your little pressure gauge on. And the nice thing with this is, is you have the pressure gauge. Now I've opted to get it because I think it helps. You're gonna learn a little bit. So I'm gonna turn on my timer here. I'm gonna give it a pre-infusion of about six seconds. And we're at like three bars. Okay, now I'm gonna start ramping up that pressure. Now this isn't for the faint of heart either. So we're at 16 seconds. And if you notice your shot is a little bit fast, just slow it on down. It's okay if you go down to like, you know, five, six bars of pressure. Um, I, I would say try to stay in that espresso range, but if you notice that your shot's going a little bit faster than you were you know, hoping for, go to the, the lower end of your espresso range. Just let, let, the, let the shot pull. I noticed that shots on this pull a little bit nicer when they're just a little bit longer than your normal shot. So I'm right around 55, right at 55 seconds. I normally shoot for about somewhere between 50 to a minute and 10 on this machine, on this lever, I guess you'd call it. But uh, yeah, for, for a decaf shot, you got a nice little head of crema. Let's give it a sip, see how it comes out. That's pretty dang good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. So it's uh, it's got a lot of caramel, the notes on the, the I actually roasted this myself, but I've noticed that the, the roast level is very caramel forward, kind of woody, and very sweet. This is, uh, I'll say that much about this, uh, this lever style espresso, whether it's a La Pavoni or whatever, anything that has that flow profile, it really seems to really pull a lot of sweetness out of espresso if it's done correctly. So this is the $300 setup. I hope you've, uh, you'll, you've seen something that might interest you, whether it's this flare. I will say this, this Enzu, whatever you want to call it, this is a $40 grinder, maybe $60, depending on when you buy it. It's not the greatest grinder in the world. It's not, I wouldn't call it even a good grinder, but it will get the job done. Uh, I, I am on the finest setting here, but it's, it is working for me and I'm able to get reasonably good shots on the flare with this. Um, you know, what I would say too, if you're gonna use a grinder like this, really play more, don't, don't try to play too much with your grind setting. Maybe the last three settings, like one, two, and three you can use. But what I would do is really just, once you get it sort of good, just play with your, with the amount of coffee that you're putting in. So if you're noticing that you're putting like 10 bars of pressure, you're really snapping down on this thing and it's not pulling that nicely, just lower the amount of coffee that you're putting in. Or if it's pulling too fast, just up the, up, up the dose a little bit. Because the, the flare is pretty forgiving, like I said, if, if you're pulling too fast, just slow down the pressure. Really the timing is, is pretty important there. And then again, if you're you know, pulling, if it's too, too much coffee or if it's too fine, you know, there's not really much you can do about that. Unfortunately, you, you've kind of have a broken shot, but it's pretty easy to use. I, I, I would say if you're new to espresso or, and you really are on a tight budget, this is a really fun thing to do. It's not fast. It's going to take you a while. It's, you know, it's a cumbersome process, but I really like the flare just playing with it. Um, you know, you could learn a lot about espresso by using a lever style espresso uh, shot, you know. So yeah, I hope you've liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.